You know, I, I thought this story was a hoax the second I saw it. The, the numbers just didn't, didn't pencil out. Um, so when I met them, um, I was surprised by how shaken they were and how humble they were. They're 17-year-old kids. I was expecting from the story these over-the-top Wolf of Wall Street type guys. Instead, they were like scared 17-year-olds who had been up all night worrying how they're going to tell their parents. They were exceptionally contrite. I think they were contrite to the point of afraid. They both have parents who are from traditional backgrounds and uh, are afraid of the consequences they're going to face. I think they're also afraid of the humiliation they're going to face at school. I had no sense that they were proud to have pulled this off, so to speak. My sense is that this started as a rumor, guys trying to impress their friends, and it got out of control and they didn't know how to unwind it. They, they said something stupid and this person told that person, that person told this person, and next thing you know, CNBC is calling. Instead of coming clean right away, when New York called, they, they realized that they were going to have a problem. So they, they started trying to play it down, but weren't, weren't ready to come totally clean. So when New York Magazine said, so it's 72 million, they said, well, we don't want to give a full number, but it's in the high eight figures, which would be 50 million or higher. In fact, the answer was zero, and I made that real clear in my story. I, it's total fiction. There was no money ever invested. Muhammad is truly interested in investing. I don't know if he was the ringleader. I, I think he, he's, the, he's definitely the one who's most interested in stock investing. I think all of the, the friends were excited, and they were excited at all the attention. You know, the media starts calling. It does goofy things to your head. But, I, you know, I, I blame the media at the end of the day, not 17-year-old kids. Yeah, they shouldn't have lied, but uh, our, our news gatherers should be a little more skeptical.